Hello guys, so in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create and manage user accounts and also how to set up parental controls. So let's go to our user account, we click on start, and the shortcut to get there is clicking here on your picture of your user account. Another way is uh, through the control panel, so start control panel, user accounts, family safety, user accounts, and here we are again. If you notice, I'm logged in as administrator and I'm password protected. If I wanted to change my password, click on here, I can remove my password, I can change my picture, I can uh, change the account name, the type, and we'll manage another account, we'll get to that in a bit. So let's say I wanted to change my password, you're going to ask you for your current password, you put your new password, you confirm it, and then a password hint. And that's about it for changing your password. Let's change our picture. Let's change it to this cool picture here. There we are. And to create a new account or manage another account, we click here, manage another account. And if you notice, Windows comes automatically with a guest account. Let's say some guests come over to your house and they want to use your computer. You just go here to guest and you turn it on. So now the guest account is on and they'll be able to use your computer without logging into your guys' accounts. And they're limited. They can't install programs and they can't change system settings, which is, which is good. Now if you want to create a new account, you click here, create a new account and create a new account for my little sister Jazlyn and you have two choices here you can do a standard user or you can make an, admin an administrator account now a standard user is limited just like the guest account they won't be able to uh, install programs and they won't be able to change system settings without your permission so that's good administrator on the other hand can, has full control they can do anything I'm gonna give my little sister a standard account so create account and there it is, Jaslyn. Now let's say if I wanted to set up some parental controls on her account. What you do is you click on her account. Now in this window, uh, you can manage her account here. Uh, you can change the account name. You have complete control over her account. Password, picture, set up internal controls, which we'll do in a bit. You can change the account type. If you want to make her administrator, you can delete it. You can click here to go manage another account. So let's change her uh, parental controls here. click on her account here so here uh, the parental controls are off if you notice here click here to turn them on and with parental controls you can set up time limits you can uh, choose if you want her to play games or not and you could choose which programs you want to block or allow okay let's say you wanted to set up time limits right here uh, you can choose whatever time of the day you want her to be blocked from using the computer. The blue shaded ones are the blocked ones and the white ones are the allowed uh, blocks of time. Okay, it's pretty easy. And you just hit OK and it'll set it. Um, games, you could choose right now. Uh, it's set for her to be able to play games. If you don't want, if you don't want your uh, user to play games, just hit no. They won't be able to play games at all. And also right here, you can choose which programs you want her to, you want them to use or not. Right now, it's set for her to use all programs. You can, if you want her to, if you want your user to to be limited what programs they use, just click on here. It'll load all the programs here in a bit. Da, 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 da. I have a lot of programs here, so it's gonna, probably going to take a little while. And here we go. Alright, so in this list, it'll give you a list of all the programs you have installed on your computer. And click on the programs that you want that that you want her to use or your user account to use. So here you just check the ones you want them to use and those will be the only ones they can use. Pretty easy, right? So that's it. That concludes this tutorial on how to create user accounts, manage them, and also set parental controls. It's really easy. Windows makes it really easy. I hope this has been really helpful for you, and have a good day.